Tonight, a Pasco County child is recovering after firefighters say he was punctured in the chest by a catfish barb while out fishing. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck is in Newport Ritchie explaining how this happened and why fishermen say it's really a good reminder to be extra careful when you reel in your catch. Pasco County fire leaders say a day out fishing quickly turned scary for a mom and son when the boy, who is less than 10 years old, reeled in a catfish and the catfish's barb pierced him in the chest. It was about an inch to an inch and a half uh, deep wound uh, right below the nipple. So that's a very concerning area when you're talking about that much of uh, a penetrating wound into the chest cavity. This is the area where Pasco County firefighters responded to a 911 call. We're told that mom tried to drive her son to the hospital after the catfish pierced her son's chest. But once he started having trouble breathing, she stopped here and pulled over to call 911. Firefighters airlifted the boy to the hospital. At Rusty Bucket Bait and Tackle in Newport Ritchie, owner William Rutherford says he's often educating new fishermen about the dangers of reeling in certain types of sea life. But sharks are kind of like the no-brainer. People know not to handle those, uh, but catfish and stingrays somehow get overlooked. And in Florida, some catfish are venomous, which is why Rutherford uses a de-hooker device like this every time he fishes. Probably everybody that um, has fished in Florida for a while, probably has been pricked by one before. Uh, it feels like a bee sting mixed with a little puncture. Javaris Mike Leach is cautious about catfish too. Very cautious because catfish, they wait till you get hands reached before they start shaking because that's where they get you. If you about like that far, they'll swing. And if you keep it close to your body, you're liable to get stout. Pasco firefighters say the boy is expected to be okay. In Newport Ritchie, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.